Okay, what's up, YouTube? Pacey AI one more time. About to bring you another video. Remember to leave a like, share, and subscribe. I wanted to do this video for a while, and this is the Entropic Computer Use Demo. And essentially, right now, I am on the page where you can go ahead and set this up. Now, I'm going to be leaving the link to this page in the description, but essentially what the Computer Use Demo is, and I'm going to kind of show you that in this video, it is... A system where you can actually use a remote desktop PC to pretty much do anything that you would do on a computer and it is actually very powerful it allows you to use prompts AI prompts to essentially carry out different tasks gone are the days where you need to scan a page and do automation and things like that now essentially AI does the automation for you on a remote computer desktop, which is actually really powerful. You can actually get a lot done through that. So this is essentially how you would set it up. What this is, is that it's allowing you to run this in a Docker container, a Docker instance. So if you have a MacBook, you just copy this code and just paste it in your terminal. For me in particular, I have a Windows, so I would need to use a command prompt, but in order for me to even start, I first have to download Docker. So the link to this is in the description, but you want to download Docker desktop. And if you have a Mac, obviously you choose the Mac Intel chip. If you have an M1, an M2 processor or something like that, then you would choose the Apple Silicon. And obviously for Windows, you choose AMD 64. ARM is the Android based processor system. You can also download this for Linux as well. It will be the same process if you're downloading for Linux as it is for Mac. So essentially, once you downloaded this and I have Docker here, you want to go ahead and start up your Docker. You want to start it up, install it, make sure you start it up, make sure it's running in the background of your system. Once that is the case, now you can go ahead and copy this code, paste it in your terminal if you're running MacBook, or if you're running Windows, it's a slightly different code. For Windows, and I'm gonna be leaving this code in the description for you guys to use, but essentially it's doing the same thing as this, but it's the Windows conversion. So what it is, is that you're just setting your API key. Now you have to have and topic API key setup. So I'm going to show you that in just a moment, but essentially you want to just set up your API key. Then you want to call on the Docker instance to run using that API key. So you want to use that API key as one of the parameters within that Docker instance. You also want to set your local volume folder here, which is just what you do. And then obviously you have the port numbers where you're go going to be running this instance from. And also you're calling on the, the demo file. Now, in order to do this, as I said earlier, you will need to set up an API key. So you want to go to console.entropic.com slash dashboard, and then you want to click get API key. Once you click get API key, then you'll be able to get your API key. You obviously you got to sign up. So once you get your API key, you would then just go back to this code right here. You would paste your API key in this command, and then you just click enter and run. And that's it. That's all you have to do. It should work. Once you put in your API key, there should be no issues. This does dynamically recognize your user profile name. So as you can see, I have a dynamic identifier for your user profile. So everything should work as expected. Once you click that and you run it, now you should see a Docker container running in Docker desktop. Now, what you want to do is once this container is running, you want to go ahead and click the 8501 port. And once you click that 8501 port, it will take you to the computer use demo. Now, essentially you can do whatever you want to do from here on. You obviously got to put in your API key, which you generated here. So you want to make sure that your API key is there. Yeah, you can put a system prompt here. You can hide screenshots, whatever you want to do. 
but you can go ahead and do whatever you want to do here. So let's say I wanted to do a Google search for the cheapest PlayStation 5 console that's out there. So all I would have to do is just say, do a Google search and research the cheapest PlayStation 5 consoles and provide me a list of their price as well as where I can purchase them. Something like that. Now I could go ahead and just run that. And essentially this is what happens. It will load up a desktop instance. It will go ahead and actually go on Google, search for that and essentially give me the information. Once it's done, that that's, that's it. That's really just it. So it's really cool. And there we go. So it pretty much went through the whole thing, the whole process. And as you can see, it took screenshots of what it was doing. It had a, some difficulty with actually making the search, but once it figured it out, it took a minute, but it figured it out, made the search. As you guys can see, search for the PlayStation 5 console. And then it gave me a list. It actually gave me a list of where I can get it. So Walmart is selling the PlayStation 5 right now, digital edition for $441.99. Target is selling one for $449.99. GameStop is selling one. Walmart is selling another one, disc edition. And then also it gives you this list. You can get a used option. They're also giving you recommended legitimate options as well. And giving you also important notes and things that you should keep in mind. So this is really, really cool. This is really dope. This is like having a personal assistant that you can essentially have do anything for you on your computer. And this is remotely operated. So it's not using up any of your computer's resources, none of your memory, no processing power, nothing. It, it is essentially just working through the API remotely and getting this done. So this is really, really cool. So definitely guys, let me know what you guys think about this. Have you guys set this up? If you guys haven't set it up, the links are in the description. The CLI command is also in the description for you guys to go ahead and set this up. So let me know what you guys think and have a great day. Pacey AI signing out. Peace.